are getting ready for St. Patrick's Day in the Fox 43 kitchen. And joining me today, I have Rafe and Josh from Annie Bailey's in Lancaster. And we are going to cook up something delicious and a St. Patrick's Day staple, if you will. So what are we cooking today? Uh, today, we are cooking shepherd's pie. Mm. All right, let's get started. All right, yeah. let's get started. So uh, talk a little bit about why you wanted to make a shepherd's pie today and all of the St. Patrick's Day theme that goes into it. So really, this is our number one dish at Annie's. Um, it's, it always has been, really. Uh, we go through probably 400 gallons of this stuff over the weekend. Um, 400 gallons. <laughs> yes. Oh, so my goodness. So we started uh, you know, prepping a lot of this um, you know, this week and throughout. Um, and uh, this is probably the number one order. Really, the number two is probably our fish and chips, which people absolutely love. A little hard to do in a kitchen segment here. There's no fryer here. Um, but uh, it's, it's something that's you know people can make at home. It's pretty easy. Um, it's made with ground lamb uh, and some basic, you know. Um, uh, Cranking up the heat. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah, some let's go. Uh, basic uh, uh, vegetables. But it's, you know, it's, I mean, it's what you think about when you think of St. Patty's Day. It's warm. It's comforting. Cool. You know, uh, March can be right. 60 degrees like it might be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Or it could be 32 degrees. So uh, either way, um, you know, it's good. It's hearty. It's simple to make at home. Um, and it's great. So you got the on onions, the carrots, yep. little garlic in there. Correct. And That's then you exactly got yeah. peas and corn going in. Yep. Once this, right. uh, once this mixture right here is cooked, we're going to add the peas and the carrots. We're also going to go tomato paste, and we have some other things that we're going to finish it with. Then we're also going to brown some uh, brown the lamb over here in this pan. That's why I have two pans going. All right. And talk a little bit about St. Patrick's Day. Like, it's your Super Bowl, right? It, uh, 100%. Yes, right? So we're open at 7 a.m., uh, doors open. We do a special breakfast menu from 7 to 11.30 in the morning. Uh, we have music starting at 8. Uh, we have uh, the Diploma School of uh, Dance. We have the, kid, uh, the children dancers in all day, which is really fun. Um, this year, it's great. It's going to be warm. We'll have our back deck open and our bar open, so we'll have outdoor seating as well. Um, and really, it's just, it's a lot of fun to see people. There's people that come from Baltimore, there's people that come from York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, and we see people we've seen every year come back. And I really am excited for this year because I feel like it's really the first year post-COVID where people are really excited and back, and it's on a Friday. So I, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and people are going to be in really good spirits. You may even up the 400 gallons of this stuff. You yeah, know, we're, we're making not so a sure. Comeback COVID here. has changed things, right? <laughs> but, uh, but I think in, 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 uh, for the, uh, we're looking at you know 2019 as the barometer, mm -hmm. so and that was a big a big year for us, so we're excited. So explain what it's like for you in the kitchen on St. Patrick's Day. Is it just madness? Uh, you could say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Organized Control, chaos. Controlled madness, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Yeah. We know they're coming, you know, yeah. and everyone preps for it, and everyone works hard, yeah. All right, so is this just like, you know, the, in the back of your mind all day, you're just making huge batches and getting ready? Because at 9 a.m., I mean, when you start drinking that early, you're hungry that yes. early, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we have about uh, 280 seats, um, and really, we're turning them over every hour and a half, sometimes quicker. Um, and we have a special menu, so we add a few things that are different, like corned beef and cabbage and other Irish favorites that we don't necessarily have. Uh, throughout the year. We also have our signature cheese stick egg rolls, so that's a great thing to, to eat if you are drinking all day. It soaks so, it right up. Um, so yeah, so if you're not uh, geared towards the Irish fair, the cheese stick egg rolls are always a great number two. Something for everyone, and uh, I know uh, you were also talking about corned beef and cabbage. Yes. Sean is a big fan of the corned beef and cabbage, and That's he's right. going to be back That's here right. in the kitchen for our next segment as you kind of wrap everything up, making shepherd's pie, see a little bit of uh, Irish soda bread, That's too. Right. So, Sean, it smells amazing in here. You're going to love it. I can't wait to get in there. Yeah, he's a corned beef, corn beef and cabbage, shepherd's pie, those bangers and mash, everything with St. Patrick's Day. Bring it on. All right. Thanks, Jackie.